But Ben, that uh, initially looked like it was going to be one of those long days in the field that players dread. But what a fight back this evening from Durham with the ball. That did. It, it, it's a pretty slow, low, like docile pitch. So, we, you know, we were a bit unsure as uh, we thought it was going to be a long day. But we bowled well throughout the day. And, um, I know the old cricket saying, if you get your rewards in the end, really paid off there. It was a hell of a last session. I think it was about, about just under 100 for seven or something from us in the last session. So that was brilliant. Um, yeah, but yeah, think, thought we were pretty good all day. I think eventually Warwickshire lost seven for 42 in the end. So, you know, you you, you got your rewards, didn't you? Because you mm -hmm. had plugged away all day. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it felt a really good pitch. It's quite slow. Um, and after that, their young lad that uh, Yates played really well. He got a, a crack in 100, which was well deserved. So sometimes people can play well against you and that. Now we thought we we thought we were doing the right things throughout the day and we just thought our luck would turn eventually and it did. Yeah. And I think it all started once he'd gone, didn't it? Because you got in yeah. the ball after he got to his 100. Um, mm -hmm. And then they, they, they had been 195 for three and then 237 all out. I crack an effort. No, I'm very happy with that. So, just saying, obviously there is a bit of weather around next couple of days, but hopefully if that stays off, we can get a you know, good innings tomorrow and then have a crack at them on day four. So, game set up quite nicely, to be fair. Yeah. And although they were out there for quite some time, they never got away from you. The scoreboard wasn't clicking over, was it? It was, it was slow progress. I think they were only going about two, two and a half and over. So, it was never a case of them disappearing out of sight. Yeah, well, I think that's just what we, we've done well this year is like a bowling unit when we've, you know, when we've kind of communicated between us that um, the pitch isn't doing much or it stops swinging or whatever. It's just been, oh, let's just hold it in and you know, hold the run rate still and you know, you'll create opportunities later on the day or hold it still for that second new ball, which is you know what we did really well there. We, we were really important with that second new ball, to be fair. Yeah. Um, and three wickets for you, three for Ben Stokes. Ben, at one point, never stopped running during one over as he was trying <laughs> to get the over ball quickly to get the over rate back up. He, he just keeps ploughing in and ploughing in, doesn't he? Oh, he's brilliant. He's an absolute powerhouse. He's great to have. Like So, I mean, there's always going to be tough with the over rate because you know, we, don't, we haven't got a spinner. Hopefully, Scotty can be fit for the second innings and stuff. So, um, five teams, I think... All of us have got pretty long run-ups and that, so it's going to be tough. So, you know, him for him to do that for the team was outstanding, and I even picked up a couple of wickets doing it as well. So, you know, it was brilliant. Uh, really helped us and got our over back down as well. The uh, court and balls for Danny Briggs. It, from where I was sitting, it was so far away. I didn't think anything had happened because Stokes got the ball and just walked back to his marker, and <laughs> Briggs stood there for ages. And I just thought initially it was a bump ball, and then Briggs turned and walked up, and I thought, what's happened there? And I mean, what a what a piece of fielding that was. I've just looked I, back at it now. The the commentary does not do it justice by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> no, he, was, so. he was. I think if that was me, I'd have been doing laps of the pitch. It was. He was pretty nonchalant, to be honest with you. I think he he does stuff like that every other day. To be fair, though, so um, no, he was pretty chilled when he took that catch. It was out of a catch. Yeah. And uh, do we know what the situation is with the over eight? Did it get back to where it needed to be? Or I think it's pretty. We got back. I think we were minus two, and then we took two in that last over. So. I don't, know, I don't know. I should know the rules, but I'm, I'm honest, I don't. I don't. That should put us pretty close. Um, so hopefully we get, you know, we get a second innings and we can get, you know, get rid of that last one as well in that second innings. So we should be alright. Yeah, and as you say, you, I mean, despite losing yesterday, if you know you've got them out quickly today, you're already in your first innings. So there's still plenty of time in this game for something to happen. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it is all dependent on tomorrow, to be honest. It is, it's pretty, it was a bad podcast. It's, it is improving. Um, but, you know, it just if, if the weather does come and that, we just need to try and get as many points as we can out of this game. And then that sets up a bit of a showdown next week against Not. So um, we've done the job with the ball. We've got our max ball and points there. If we get lucky and the rain stays off, then, you know, we can push and try and win this game of cricket. Um, you know, if we get unlucky and get a bad day of weather tomorrow, it's about trying to get as many points as we can out of this game. Um, yeah. to set up that game next week.